हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज माई लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल्स इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हेड कम्प्लीटेड कॉमन मल्टीपल्स एंड एलसीएम एंड होप यू हैड कम्प्लीटेड योर होमवर्क ऑल्सो ओके नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट फैक्टर्स कॉमन फैक्टर्स एंड एच सी एफ ओके सो वॉट आर फैक्टर्स सो वेन टू और मोर नंबर्स आर मल्टीप्लाइड देन ईच नंबर इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ओके एंड द प्रोडक्ट इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ ईच ऑफ द नंबर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी वॉन्ट टू राइट द ऑल द फैक्टर्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व सो वी हैव टू राइट टू नंबर्स by which multiple we get answer as 12 okay so 12 multiply 1 equals to 12 3 multiply 4 equals to 12 and 6 multiply 2 equals to also 12 okay it means that 12 1 3 4 6 2 all these six numbers are the factors of 12 means we got the three pairs of product here and by which we get the answer 12 by the multiplication of numbers we get 12 let it more clear suppose we divide 6 uh, sorry 12 by 6 we get 2 as quotient and 0 as remainder it means that 12 is completely divisible by 6 okay so 6 and 2 are the factors of 12 okay or again we will divide 12 by 2 we will get 6 as quotient so the and remainder is 0 so 6 and 2 are factors means if we divide any number by a number and if that number is completely divisible by that divisor so that number that divisor and quotient are the factor of that dividend okay now take out next page 67 see common factors so here you have to find the common factors of 15 and 20 so first of all write the all the factors of 15 means in whose table 15 is comes okay so 1 3 5 15 15 how see 1 multiply 15 equals to 15. 3 multiply 5 equals to 15. now there is no another pair of product by who gives us answer 15 only two pair of product type we get so 1 3 5 15 all are the factors of 15 like that we will write also the all the factors of 20 so factors of 20 are 1 2 4 5 10 and 20 so now what are the common here means what factors are common here so common factors are here 1 and 5 okay so common factors of 15 and 20 are 1 and 5 okay next is hcf okay hcf means highest common factors it means that when uh, two or more than two numbers is the highest among all their common factors okay means if i want to find the hcf of 15 and 20 to so among common factor the highest factor is the hcf of number okay so here common factors are 1 and 5 and among 1 and 5 5 is the greater one so hcf equals to 5 hcf is also called greatest common divisor okay now take out exercise 6.4 question number 1 find 
any two factors of the following. So I had here solve a number 54. So you can write any pair of number whose by whom multiply we get 54 as answer. So here I had multiply 6 multiply 9. Okay. So 6 multiply what we will get 54. You can write also 1 multiply 54. Okay. And so on you can write the more multiples. Okay. But question you have to write any two factors. So any two factor you will write. Okay. Like that I had done G number also. 620. So 62 multiply 10 we will get 622. 20. So 62 and 10 are the factors of 620. Okay. Next question is write the prime factorization of 48. So uh, in uh, LCM uh, already I had uh, uh, explained you about prime factorization method. So like that uh, you will find the uh, so the prime factorization of 48. So 48 write the least prime number by which 48 is completely divisible. So that is 2 and we get quotient as 24. Again write the least common number by which 24 is completely divisible. So that is 12. Again by 2 we will write divide. So we will get answer as 6. Again divide 6 by 2 we will get 3. And uh, 3 we will divide by 3. So that we will get 1. So prime factorization of 48 is 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 3. Okay, we have to show like that also. Understood? Next number, question number 4. Express each of the following as the <coughs> product of prime numbers. Means again you have to solve question number 4 like that question number 2 and 3. So you can see that here I had solved a number factorization of 300 by prime factor method. We have to find the all prime numbers. So it is easy to we will find it by the prime factorization method. Okay. So I had done it by prime factorization method. So 300. Now write the least prime number by which 300 is completely divisible. So we will get 150 as quotient. Again divided by 2 we will get 75. Okay. Now uh, to 75 is not divisible by 2. So we will move to next prime number that is 3. So after uh, div uh, divide 75 by 3 we will get 25 as quotient and divide 25 by 5 we will get 5 and again 5 by 5 we will get 1. So these are the prime factors of 300. What are they? 2 multiply, 2 multiply, 3 multiply, 5 multiply, 5. Okay. Now next is question number 5. Find all the common factors of the following numbers. So I had solved here a number that is you have to find the common factors of 21 and 49. So first of all we will write the factors of 21 means all the factors of 21. So all the factors of 21 are 1, 3, 7, and 21. Like that we will write the factors of 49 that are 1, 7 and 49. So common factor of 21 and 49 is here 1 and 7. Okay. Only 1 and 7. See next question. Question number 6. Find the HCF of the following numbers. See A number 4 and 20. So, uh, first of all, we will write the fact, all the factors of 4. So, all the factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. Like that, we will also write the all factors of 20. So, uh, uh, factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. So, uh, common factors of 4 and 20 are 2 and 4. 
and SCF of 4 and 20 is 4. Highest is between 2 and 4. Highest number is 4. So, SCF is 4. One more method I had solved this. SCF by prime factorization method. Okay. Uh, factor, uh, uh, factor of uh, 4 um, are like this. D divided by 2, we will get 2. Again 2, we will get 1. Now 20, the least prime numbers by which 20 is divisible. Uh, 2, we will get 10. Now again by 2, we will get 5. Now again by 5, we will get 1. So, SCF of 4 and 20 is, first of all, we will take out the common number. So, first common number we will get in both number is. Now, when we find LCM by prime factorization method, first of all, we will write the all the common factor and then we will write the uncommon factor also. But, when we find SCF, we will write only the common factors. Okay? No need to write the uncommon factors. Means, only for LCM we will write the common factor and uncommon factor both. But in SCF we will write only common factors. Okay. Next one more question I had solved. Question number E. 16, 48 and 80. So, see here solution 16. Uh, least prime number by which 16 is completely divisible. So, that is 2. We get 8. Again, 8 by 2, we will get 4. Again, 4 by 2, we will get 2. And 2 by 2, 1. Okay, like that here. 48 also I had done. And 80 also I had done. 48 by 2, 24. 2, uh, again 24 by 2, 12. 12 by 2, 6. And 6 by 2, 3. And 3 by 3, 1. In 80, uh, start with the least prime number. 80 divisible by 2, 40 as quotient, again 40 by 2, 20, 20 by 2, 10, 10 by 2, 5 and 5 by 5, 1. So, SCF equals to first common one is 2, ok. So, 2 I had written. Then again, we see that one more 2 is common, again one more 2, ok. And again one more 2, ok. So, 2 multiply, 2 multiply, 2 multiply by 2. So, 2 multiply 2, 4. 4 multiply by 2, 8. And 8 multiply by 2, 16. So, SCF of 16, 48 and 80 is 16. Okay. Now, in your homework, you will solve all the rest questions. All questions of exercise 6.4 in your maths. Home uh, maths notebook. Okay. Thank you.